Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I wanna to talk about balance lines on your pattern and specifically on your pants pattern. Um, before we get going, um, if you like this video, click the little thumbs up sign to let me know that I'm on the right track. Also, if you subscribe and click the little bell, then you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So make sure you do that so you don't miss out. If you've been following along with me, you know I've been working on my pants and I made an oak tag version because they're easier to trace then and it's more durable. So my oak tag was getting very small, meaning it was rolled up in kind of a tight tube. So I put my pieces underneath my cutting mat like this to allow them to flatten out. So that's what you see under my cutting table over here. Um, this is a trace copy of my latest pattern. And this right here is a very is something that's very commonly found on patterns. This would be the horizontal balance line on the fullest part of your hip. So this horizontal balance line is um, parallel to the floor, meaning this pattern was drafted and you know as I worked on it, this line I made sure was you know, hanging even with the floor. If I want to transfer the the balance lines to my muslin, so when I try my muslin on, I can see where things are pooling and what night might need to be adjusted. Um, this is one line I am not going to transfer to my muslin, and here's why. You can see this center back seam angles out a little bit, so when I sew this up, it's like sewing up a dart. And what it's going to do is it's going to make this line look like a V on the back of my butt. Okay, because I'm sewing at an angle and when I'm wearing it, this will be low and this will be a little bit higher. Okay, so that's what happens to this horizontal balance line. If you want to create a line that you can transfer to your fabric so you can see it on your muslin, what you want to do is draw... A, a line at your hip for that purpose. And instead of it being parallel or perpendicular to my vertical grain line, it's going to be parallel with the waist. So here's how you would draw it. So I'm gonna measure down to my fullest part of my hip on my side seam, which is five and a half inches. And I'm just gonna make a mark there. Then I'm gonna measure the same five and a half inches along my center back. Okay, so that's way up here. Okay, so now I'm going to trace this. And what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see this new line and if you're looking at it straight on, this line looks like it's crooked and this line looks like it's straight. But in actuality, because this line is parallel to the waist and also perpendicular now to my center back, it's going to create a straight line across my full hip. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a muslin in a minute and I'm gonna explain what I did during my fitting process and how I used this um, horizontal balance line. But what I wanna do first is show you a really easy way to transfer this to your fabric. So let's pretend I cut out these pants um, using this pattern, okay? And the whole idea is you want to um, transfer the lines before you pick your paper up because that's the most accurate way to do it. All right, so I'm gonna show you a really easy way to transfer your guidelines onto your muslin in one step and get both the left and right leg done at the same time. What you're gonna need for that is a um, tracing wheel. This is actually an antique tracing wheel I got at the Houston Quilt Festival many years ago. I love it because it's sturdy and it's durable and I just love the way it feels in my hand. But you can find these at any good sewing store or you know even you can find it at Joanne Fabrics. So you need a tracing wheel and then you need some serral paper. And you can find this online as well. I'll put some links below this video to show you how to find this paper. So what we're gonna do is, 
before I pick up my paper completely. I'm just going to fold it back and I'm going to fold back my fabric and I'm going to put one piece of serial paper underneath my guideline and I'm going to put the second piece face down on this side like this. All right, so then look what happens when I use my tracing wheel and I'm going to trace along my guideline. All right, and I can even start marking the vertical if I want. I'll have to do it in a few places to draw it all the way down the leg, but look at how nice this is. There's my horizontal line there. And I have it on this side as well. So now I know for sure that I've accurately marked my guidelines on the left and right leg without really any work at all. If it doesn't come out super sharp, you know, on, on one side, you can then go back with your pencil or whatever and just make it a little bit darker. But that makes a really nice, accurate line. So get yourself some serial paper and a tracing wheel to do that. All right, so two other places that it's really helpful to have horizontal balance lines are on the upper thigh, and I usually choose about two inches below the crotch point to draw that. This line is um, parallel with the floor and perpendicular to the vertical grain line. And then also down at the knee, I have another horizontal grain line. So you're gonna wanna transfer the knee, the thigh, and also the one that we drew to transfer to the muslin across the full hip. All right, now let's take a look at my pants muslin with my horizontal lines drawn on there so I can show you how I use these lines to tweak the fit of my pants pattern. In this first photo, you can see that it's it looks pretty good across my, my full hip, across my butt, but on the upper thigh, that line is drooping down in the center of the back leg a little bit. And that indicates that there's a little bit too much extra length, vertical length on the back leg. From the side view, you can see it a little bit better. And actually on the side view, it looks like the horizontal balance line on the full hip is, is picking up a little bit. And then the one on my thigh is actually drooping a little bit. All right, so to fix that, what we did was we pinned out the extra vertical length. All right, so from these photos, you can see the before and after right next to each other. You can see the side view before we pinned out the extra vertical length. Then you can see what the lines look like after we pinned out the extra vertical length. And you can see they look much stri straighter once we got rid of that little bit of extra um, length on the back leg. So here is a, a back view of how we pinned out the extra length. And you can see it's sort of a diagonal, in a diagonal direction from inseam to side seam. And actually we didn't have to shorten anything at the side seam or inseam. So we pinned about 3 eighths of an inch in the center of the back leg and then basically blended back to zero before getting to the inseam and the side seam. And in this photo, I don't know if you can tell, but we use safety pins. So if you're working with um, fitting your pants muslin, then working with safety pins is a nice idea because you can sit down and try it um, with the pins in there without getting pricked. So that's why we were using safety pins. Okay, so in this final photo, you can see that after taking out that extra little bit of length, the horizontal balance lines look much better. And um, I was really happy with the fit of this. You know, I do want to stress that there's going to be a certain amount of wrinkle on any back leg, unless it's wide enough to hang off the under part of your behind and hang to the floor without touching any of your leg going down. If you're working on a fitted slack, which is going to lay against your calf, for example, you're gonna have a little bit of wrinkle. So in this photo, I think I'm happy with the way my balance, line lo balance lines look. And also, you know, there is a little bit of wrinkle there, but 
in person, it didn't look that bad. I think photography also accentuates the wrinkle. So that's what my final pant looked like. So to finish up today, let me show you how we got rid of that extra little 3 8 inch of fabric that was too long on my back leg. You can see from this picture, here's my muslin laying on the table after I took it off, and you can get a close up and see the um, safety pins. Before we unpinned it, we marked how much we took out with, with a red pencil, and you can see here little hash marks of where that extra length was on my back leg. Now to get rid of it, I was very interested to see, my friend Eric was helping me, and I was very interested to see how he would do that. Because I do have an adjustment where, you know, I showed you a few weeks ago where you can actually slash the pattern and get rid of it from within the, the, the paper. Another thing you can do is you can actually take it off of the top. So what we did was we measured down 3 eighths of an inch here Okay, and I basically blended to zero. So there's my three eighths. And then I blended to zero here. Okay, and not all the way to the side seam because remember, towards my side seam, I didn't have to pin any out. It was really in the middle and under my crotch curve a little bit. All right, so we took out three eighths of an inch up here. We just cut that off. And then we also scooped down three eighths of an inch here. Okay, so what that did is it maintained the measurement. So see, this is a three eighths of an inch here. So we lengthen the curve back down to maintain the measurement from where we took it off up at the waist. And what that's doing is it's pulling up fabric and it's pushing it up above the crotch curve. So I think part of the reason why the horizontal balance line was drooping on my back leg is because there was a little bit too much fabric underneath the crotch level and near the, near the crotch curve, it gets stuck under there. So you need to pull it up and also pull it up here. So that's a simple way that you can get rid of a little bit of fabric if you just have some fine tuning to do. So. Um, that's my simple adjustment for today. If you have any questions about this adjustment or how to draw your balance lines to use them, you know, either if you're working in your pattern or if you're working in your muslin, please, you know, post them below and I'll help you. And I'll put a link to this, you know, where you can find seral paper. You can get it in like a, a 12 feet roll or so many feet roll on Amazon. Um, so I'll put a link to that. Um, and also make, make sure you have one of these handy dandy um, tracing wheels because it makes it very easy to transfer uh, markings to both your legs in one step. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on, you know, ways to make it easier to tweak the fit of your pants. And I will see you next week for Fit Tip Tuesday.